We all know that cash flow could make the difference between you scaling your business to seven figures or more. In my case, it was 18 months to seven figures because I was very aggressive and I used my cash flow in a very organized way and always looking at numbers and really checking everything. And in this video, I'll share with you all the options laying all the options that I used in my experience to fund my business, to finance my Amazon FBA business, and what are really the cons and pros for each method so you can see how it can work for you, so you can scale quick and being aggressive with lunches or with anything when you compete with other sellers. Also, if you wait to the end, I will show you how I make extra $500 cashback or gift cards that I use in my personal life uh, for, from using and being organized with all my financing, playing with the numbers that I get from different type of uh, fundings. So let's start with the video. Hi, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com where I share with you videos, updates and tutorials about Amazon FBA and e-commerce and everything that I share with you here is completely free. So please do me a favor and while you go to the video, if you find value in it, please support my hard work and like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment with any questions that you have. And all links for everything we are going to mention in this video will be down below in the description section. Okay, uh, before we start with the video, a reminder for you to join our new Sourcing Monster. It's not really new, it's already a couple of months now and there is starting to be there more and more activity, more and more people asking to join every day and it's not like the beginning and I'm really happy to see that, that uh, people communicate with each other, asking me questions and others and it's really great to create this community and help others and ourselves to grow uh, and become better Amazon FBA sellers. You can search for it Sourcing Monster on Facebook um, or join by clicking the link that I will put in the description section. Now, I'll start with the first option, which is the last really option that I tried and I have experience with. And of course, it's the best option because uh, the interest rate with this option is the best. Um, I would say that if you're a new business owner, then credit cards are probably the best option for you because you get all these free uh, intro APR promotions that allow you to use their money for like 15 months without paying interest. So this is really amazing. That's what I did in uh, the first video. I'll share with you uh, the link later so you can uh, uh, you can watch that video showing how I finance my business using credit cards. But the traditional way is uh, doing line of credit with banks. Um, I did it through Chase. The thing is that, and I will share with you also how I'm using this money, this capital, working capital to really finance and use uh, the to, to pay Amazon PPC and get $500 uh, cash back uh, that I'm using uh, by uh, um, converting it into gift cards and I'm just uh, using it to buy some personal stuff. Now, what, why I actually use the like line of credit? Why are you requesting this? So if you guys watched the previous video that I made like two or three months ago about Amazon lending, you will see that I was able to get $100,000 like in less than 10 minutes. So the process was very quick, very efficient, and it was in my account in just a few days. Um, the What I didn't really like about it is the interest rate. It's about like 10%. And if you take $100,000 and you uh, break it into one year uh, uh, loan uh, term for the loan that I took, it's $10,000 in fees that I have to pay for this $100,000 working capital. So it's, I was, you know, looking for a cheaper way to finance and use this money. That's why I contacted my bank and I asked them, look, can I get a line of credit? Uh, what are my options? And basically I went through a series of documents that I had to provide like two years uh, tax returns, the current PNL inventory on its numbers and really a lot of uh, documents that they ask me, but nothing really that you can't really provide. It's just a little work, but I think it's worth it. Now, when they asked me how much I get, I told them, look, I took a $200,000 loan from Amazon and that's what they're offering me, even though they offered me 100,000 just to see what they say. And they say, you know what? With your numbers, we can give you like 200,000 uh, easily. And it was approved like uh, last week. So that's really amazing because with the interest rate that they're offering me, 
right now it's 5%. It's still a little higher. Like uh, my brother have other business and he got like uh, like 2.5%. Um, so that's really, you know, I'm not looking and saying, oh, how we got 2.5% and I got 5%. You know, it doesn't make sense. I'm looking at it from a point of, okay, uh, this is the first time they give me line of credit. I want to build the trust with them. I want to build history with them. And I'm sure that in the future, when I have more history and more credibility with them, they will give me better rates. And if I look at my situation from going from 10% and why I used Amazon lending, I used Amazon lending because credit cards were killing me. It was 20% interest rate. Uh, and then I switched to Amazon lending, better rate, 10%. And then now I'm switching to 5% and I'm sure that in the future I will have better, you know, options. Also for me, you know, it's an experience. It's a way for me to learn how to become master at financing. This is big and huge part in every business, whether it's Amazon FBA business or any other business, cash flow and cash is the king. So you have to really learn and try all these options because when you know these options, and you compete with people that don't use these tools or not thinking about using these tools, you have an advantage over them. So this is really why I use it. Um, so with 5%, what I was able to do, and I'll show you how I was able to get $500 every month in cash back. So since my cash flow was limited, I couldn't really afford paying for my Amazon PPC advertising costs through a credit card and get the 2% cash back. Uh, so I have one credit card, that have 2% cash back and um, I couldn't really pay it because I didn't have enough money paying all for all the inventory needs that I had and at the same time from the Amazon PPC. So what I did for the Amazon PPC costs, they were reduced automatically from uh, the disbursements, from the uh, balance that I have with Amazon. And with doing that, you're not really taking advantage of if you pay with a credit card for those expenses, you get the 2%. And in my example, it was... Uh, I paid like $35,000 every month just for Amazon PPC, okay? So if we take $35,000, okay, and we multiply it by 0 0.02, which is 2%, that's $700 every month, okay? The cost of borrowing $35 from the line of credit in Chase is $35,000 by 5%, which is the interest rate, that's $1,750. Now, this is yearly interest. This is not monthly. So if we divide it by 12 months, the cost of borrowing 140, uh, the cost for borrowing $35,000 for a month would cost me $145. Now, you are probably asking yourself why it's only for a month. Because with the way that I get the disbursements from Amazon, I'm able to pay this within a month sometimes even earlier than that. So I only borrowed this $35,000 for a month. Then when I get money back from Amazon, I could pay this uh, off. Even if it's two, you're gonna pay it only in two months, this $35,000, it's still gonna be $300 cost of, uh, of doing it, comparing to the $700 that you actually make if you would pay the Amazon PPC cost through this credit card it give me 2% cashback. So that means that for one month I got $700 from cashback and deducted it from the cost of borrowing and it will be 700 minus $146. That's $500, uh, $555, uh, $54 of free money that you get. And what I do is I take it in a form of gift cards and usually it's like Amazon gift cards and I uh, buy some personal stuff. So this is like a free treat or bonus that I like to take every month from the business. Um, and this is something that I, I couldn't really do for, you know, for a long time, you know, when I didn't have this uh, line of credit. So line of credit, $200,000 that I got with very low interest rate. This is the best option for you because this is money that you don't have to borrow. It's not like Amazon lending. You have to, you take a loan for 100,000 and they give you the money. With the line of credit, you only use what you need and you pay interest to only what you took, okay? Sometimes you will take $100,000, but you don't need everything right now. So, you know, you're basically paying interest for money that you don't actually need and it makes your operations and financing much uh, or less effective than a traditional line of credit. So we have the video here showing like 
Amazon lending, five reason why it's really good option for you to, to use it for your growth. Uh, definitely recommend you watching it if you didn't. Then I have the video about the credit cards showing you how um, I leverage credit cards in my Amazon business to uh, grow. And then we have traditional SBA loans. So traditional SBA loans, I applied, I didn't really approved. Um, they asked me for more documents and, and files, things that I didn't really have. Uh, so um, I didn't really continue. I didn't, I told them, you know what, just forget about it. I didn't really need it back then. So it wasn't really important. But if you're like living the US SBA loan, it's really an amazing way to finance your business. I heard about people that bought other Amazon FBA businesses and some other type of business, online businesses through their uh, through SBA loans. Though they put zero down from, from their pocket, buying businesses and creating cash flow just like that. So like if you use uh, other people money to leverage your business and you're smart about it and you think about all the options and scenarios that could go wrong, you're in a really you you could really be in a good place creating uh, amazing cash flow for you in your uh, you know your life. Um, so what are the pros for SBA loan? So it's low interest rates. I don't have the exact rates. Of course, it will be different from each person. You have favorable repayment terms. If I'm not here uh, wrong, they allow you up to 64 months now that you pay only int interest only. You don't have to pay the principal. So, uh, I mean, you have, don't have to pay the, the payments uh, for the first 64 months. Uh, low down payments available for many uses, little or no collateral needed. Cones, smaller loan amounts on some loans, longer approval processes than some lenders, good credit often required, variety of programs might be confusing, personal guarantee often required. So these are the pros and cons. Definitely check this option. This is an amazing option if you're eligible, if you can, you know, afford it. And if they will approve you, this is a really good option. In my case, I couldn't really use it. Family and friends. So this is really the last option during our live. And by the way, we're going to have next Tuesday, every Tuesday, noon time, Eastern time, uh, Eastern Standard Time, where I'm going live answering questions for like uh, 45 minutes, an hour. So if you have any questions, prepare them ahead of time. You can go and uh, post them before the live starts if you can make it and Tuesday's noontime and I will answer them. Um, but in the previous live, uh, Alex asked me, but what should I do? I don't live in the US, I'm not a US seller and uh, I don't have all these options and credit, uh, like I'm new, so credit cards don't give me uh, credit. And I really suggest that you would uh, contact family and friends. But when you do that, to really be prepared, come up with a plan. So if you ask family or friends for $10,000, you want to back it up by good explanation. You're going to tell them, look, my cash flow now is tied up to inventory orders. And there is a buffer between the time that I get the money to between the time that I have to pay suppliers and when it actually arrives Amazon. And it's like a cycle. So when you explain them this and you get money for product that you actually have good track record and history that it's selling, the chance for you getting it and getting it approved by family and friends is higher because they have confidence. They know they actually, you explain them why it's really lowering the risk for them. But if you just tell them, I need money for my Amazon FBA business, it sounds, that doesn't sound legit. It scared them and the chance is that you will not get uh, this money from them because they are not aware. They have scares and things that are they are not really sure about. So that's really my tip for you when you talk with family and friends. I personally didn't have to do it and I'm happy, glad, because I don't like to risk my family and friends money. That's my personal opinion. I know many people that do take money from friends and family and it works for them. So I'm trying really to lay out all the options for you so you can get the best decision on how to finance your business. And, you know, maybe you're going to be like me and you're going to try all these options and find really after trial and error, what is the best option for you? Cash flow is really big thing in your business. So take this seriously. The more that you are prepared, the more that you are organized and the more that you are really uh, getting strategic like plans for your finance, that's the higher chance that you will be successful 
um, in Amazon FBA or anything, any other business. Really, it's a skill that will help you not just with Amazon FBA business, but with everything that you do. So I hope you got some value out of this video. Please share it with anyone that could uh, learn from this video or from the channel. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.